From Grammy-winning musicians to Hollywood icons to fitness gurus, even family and friends can't pin down some of these famous faces. Find out which huge stars choose to avoid the glare of the camera in favor of some major me time. Undeniably one of our greatest living actors, Academy Award winner and hungry boy Daniel Day-Lewis prefers his privacy. In 2008, the Daily Mail ran a profile describing the performer's preference for a life far away from Hollywood's trappings. He resides on a remote 50-acre estate in the mountains of Ireland's County Wicklow, where he tends to his hobbies of shoemaking and woodworking. The London Times reported in 2011 that Day-Lewis was taking a hiatus from acting after filming Steven Spielberg's Lincoln in order to focus on his family family and a quiet life in Ireland. However, in 2017, he did take on one final role as dressmaker Reynolds Woodcock in Paul Thomas Anderson's Phantom Thread, netting him one more Oscar nomination. But in June 2017, he announced that he was officially retired from acting. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! Fitness guru Richard Simmons used to tear it up all over the place, whether guesting regularly on David Letterman or sweating to the oldies on infomercials. But he's done a complete 180 in recent years, totally backing off from making public appearances and apparently even from maintaining relationships with a number of his friends. He responded to growing concern about his well-being by speaking to Entertainment Tonight in March 2016 to assure everyone that they didn't have to worry about him. And I'm very healthy. But it was time for me to take some time mm. to be by myself. Rumors about the reasons for Simmons' disappearance even spawned a hit podcast in 2017 called Missing Richard Simmons. That program never really reached a conclusion, but it did prompt Simmons to speak out again on Facebook to reiterate that he is, in fact, fine. All we can do for now is bust out our VHS copies of Sweatin' to the Oldies. Director Terrence Malick is best known for hauntingly beautiful films such as Badlands, The Thin Red Line, and The Tree of Life. Although he's captured some amazing performances from the likes of Brad Pitt and Martin Sheen, he's notoriously camera shy. He prefers to never be photographed and only very rarely gives interviews about his work. The Independent described some of Malick's more eccentric behavior in a 2011 profile. This included refusing to allow producers to keep copies of his handwriting and walking from Texas to Oklahoma to look at birds. There's been the occasional Malik sighting in public over the years, however. In 2012, TMZ caught some footage of him speaking with actor Benicio Del Toro, and then he showed up for a panel discussion at the South by Southwest Festival in March 2017. It's rare to spot Malik in the wild, but not impossible. As the female half of the White Stripes, Meg White has always been notoriously press shy. The band even had to cancel a 2007 tour due to her acute anxiety. Since the band's official split in 2009, she's really gone off the radar. Former bandmate Jack White told Rolling Stone in 2014, I don't think anyone talks to Meg. When we lived in Detroit, I'd have to drive over to her house if I wanted to talk to her, so now it's almost never. In 2009, Meg married Jackson Smith, singer-songwriter Patti Smith's son, though the couple divorced in 2013. And since the White Stripes disbanded, she seems to have stopped performing completely. Ethereal Irish singer Enya has sold an estimated 75 million records worldwide and has been described as the wealthiest woman in British and Irish music. Despite her tremendous success, she apparently prefers a quiet life in her castle near Dublin with her cats. According to The Sun, she's even known among her own social circles for her reclusive behavior, with one friend saying, she's not exactly a barrel of laughs, you wouldn't go for a few pints with her. Her family even got in on the action, with an uncle adding, we don't see much of her, she lives like a queen. She is a recluse. Anya still makes the occasional red carpet appearance, and every now and then she performs live. However, it sounds like she prefers the company of her kitties to humans any day. And really, we can't blame her. Singer and actress Doris Day was one of Hollywood's brightest stars prior to her retirement in 1973. She starred in classics such as The Man Who Knew Too Much and Pillow Talk. But after retreating from the spotlight, she moved to a California town called Carmel-by-the-Sea and proceeded to live a quiet, understated life. A lifelong lover of animals, she also started the Doris Day Animal Foundation, which is still going strong. If you have room in your home and room in your heart, Go to your city shelter today and adopt a pet.
Day did make an appearance in 2014 on the occasion of what she thought was her 90th birthday to wave to fans who had congregated near her home. That reportedly marked her first public appearance in six years. It was a little later that she found out her actual birth year, making her two years older than she'd previously thought. So when she emerged four years later, her town threw her a 96th birthday bash that doubled as a fundraiser for her foundation. But besides those moments, she's clearly taken this whole retirement thing very seriously.